We're playing Tetris 2. We're experts. We know how to get through the menu on the first try. <laughs> because of we played a lot of uh, Tetris 2 previously. Yeah. Wow. I mean, they really sold out by this point. Do you remember Tetris 2 Gold or Tetris 2 Anthology? <laughs> I had all the DLC for Tetris 2. Yeah? Yeah. You had all the bonus avatars? Ah, uh, no, I'm not really an avatar guy. I don't know, I feel like the later Tetris is after this, as gimmicky as they are, actually got better than this one. Because they like had like different game modes and like... Did this game come out after Dr. Mario? Because uh, this is literally just Dr. Mario. No, they're Tetris pieces. But like, whatever. It's not enough of a difference. Like, I agree it's like a Type 7 puzzle game or whatever. I mean, like, it's the matching colors next to each other type puzzle game. But so it was like Pokemon Puzzle League and like Bejeweled. Pokemon Puzzle League and Bejeweled were both way after Dr. Mario. I know. But all I'm saying is that these are... This is a trope. It's a long-standing trope. It's different because of the pieces. I'm just saying that that trope was started by Dr. Yeah, was Dr. Mario the first color matching puzzle game? I'd say so. Viewers, do our homework. Hey, my water level's going down. I don't know if that's good or bad. Ah, uh, I would say it's just kind of a natural process. It probably goes back and forth. Humans don't really affect it very much. The ebb of the tides. <laughs> I don't think that we as humans can be held responsible for the change of climate. Dude, if you like not like tip off half a block, you can, like, keep moving. Yeah! Don't you remember? Who was it? Brian. Brian's Brian. crazy good at Tetris 2. Man, we gotta get him on here. Shout out to Brian. What the heck? What do you mean I can't rotate it? What is this shit? <laughs> what are you trying to rotate? I'm just trying to rotate a block. I'm not screen like... looking like a bitch, so I have no idea what you're doing. Giving me the, like... No noise. You're <laughs> 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 like, we need an error. <laughs> Cannot rotate block. <laughs> Destroy. <laughs> you can only rotate that block in the full version. We're still playing shareware Tetris too. I think the the uh, possibility of having like three different colors in a block, which most of them need to have, makes this a lot harder than Doctor Mario. Doctor Mario has like. Two in a block. What? There's two different colors in a piece. You know what I mean? It's easy to fit them. It's easy to make like your rows and kind of set them up. Like, oh, here's the blue red area, here's the red blue area, right? You can't do that in this game. It forces you into more uncomfortable situations. Dr. Mario has more colors than him. Doesn't it have four colors? Uh, I couldn't tell you. That's troubling. I, I should know that. I couldn't tell you what they are. Man, I am not playing well. If I lose, this is a practice round. Well, if I lose, this is a practice round. Well, I guess it's I, a I think it's a practice round. round. <laughs> Could it be that you're expecting it to be a lot more like Dr. Mario than it is? Well, it's literally just Dr. Mario, so it'd be kind of hard to. So you're saying you're bad at Dr. Mario? I'm saying that I'm out of practice. Not all of us go home and search up the Tetris 2 message boards all night time. <laughs> Yo, those are my friends on there. Shout out to the Tetris 2 message boards. What's going on, like, I don't know, what were servers back then? BBSs. Yeah. People are just like posting like diagrams of their current Tetris 2 game. Yeah, it mostly Ask got me. into like making like <laughs> pictures with Tetris blocks that are uh... <laughs> so there's the hardcore fan community that's really into playing the game and then there's like a secondary the Secondary fans. <laughs> the secondary community is really just into drawing shit with Tetris blocks. Dude, how did I lose? Or win? I oh, did you see that shit? There's a fish in my water. You just look at that fish and think about what you've done. <laughs> I gave that fish a home. I'm proud of what I did. I did oh, now I, I keep the fish. This oh, is shit. a memento. 
Or does he like affect the gameplay? I hope so. I hope blocks get stuck <laughs> on him. <laughs> What's really tripping me out about this game is that you can rotate blocks like either direction, which you can't do in Russian Mario. Like A rotates one way and B rotates the other way. Yeah, well I had this on the NES and obviously that was not the case. So. You got this in the NES? Yep. Yeah. How many Tetris 2s are there? I guess I forgot about Tetris 2 Legacies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know it came up with Super Nintendo. As a kid, I had Tetris 2 on the NES. Tetris 2, back in action. <laughs> and who can forget Tetris 2, The Revenge of Al Zool? <laughs> <laughs> Tetris 2, and the Seven Rings. Tetris 2 at the Olympic Games. <laughs> Tetris 2, 06. Tetris 2 is going to be in the new Smash Bros. game. <laughs> I'm interested in the new Smash Bros. game. Yeah. Nintendo has gotten a lot more sissy since the last one. Not really. Supposedly Mega Man is supposed to be in it, right? Yeah. Fuck. This is a complete catastrophe. I'm excited about that. Mega Man's a cool guy. Okay, so you can't go above the water level, that's how it works. See, why is your water level lower than mine? I don't know. Just unclear about how the water level thing happens. It was all explained in the backstory of Tetris Legacies. Yeah. You know, the ancients use a special kind of magic unlocked by water. But it has been mostly forgotten by the people of the modern era. Right. I think that's kind he, of, there's some throwbacks to that in the new Tetris. They're the ones who built all the buildings, right? Yeah. Yeah. Remember you had to, like, guide the L-shaped block on his grand adventure? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, you're an L-shaped block. Your place is here in the village. And he's like, no, I can be a square-shaped block. <laughs> Tyson writes really bad fan fiction. Dude, that is so becoming a fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> And then there's, like, the classic, like, heart-wrenching scene where, like, L-shaped block's grandiose plan goes back and his dad is like, No, L-shaped block, <laughs> your hubris will be the death of us all. <laughs> but then the village banded together. <laughs> oh, L-shaped block, if only you'd stayed at home on the farm, none of this would have happened. Your place is here at the shop. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, I hope there's lots of awesome Tetris fanfiction out there. Shout out to anyone who's ever written a Tetris fanfic. You've written a Tetris fanfic. I haven't written a Tetris fanfic. I wrote a Minesweeper fanfic. Right. That might be what I'm thinking. All the cool fanfictions I've gotten, the shitty poem I wrote about Harry Potter is the only one that still consistently gets used. See, that interests me. It interests me that at this point, people are still looking up Harry Potter fanfiction. They are! Like, still, like, just, like, two days ago I got one, and it was like, oh my Harry god, Potter's I love daughter. you. And I was like, what? Like, I wrote this, like, five years ago. Like, the people who are as into Harry Potter as we are into Zelda. People at that level. They're just like, there hasn't been, like, a good, like, Harry Potter in a long time. Just gonna keep going. I don't know, people do that with, like, The Lord of the Rings, too. I'd say it's very comparable. No, i say The Lord of the Rings, like, it still occasionally gets, like, new things the Harry Potter scene is... J.K. Rowling wrote that really shitty book not that long ago. Yeah? She's like, oh, I'm totally not just cashing out on my Harry Potter fame. And we're like, J.K. Rowling, you're kind of just cashing out on your Harry Potter fame. What? I don't care. People want to buy us. You want to give her more money for Harry Potter, they can do that. I care. Why do you care? Because I'm just an L-shaped block. Are you just block. a hater? Are you mad because she's getting money? I'm just an L-shaped block in a square-shaped block's world, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! This game of Tetris is gonna ruin our friendship. Hope you realize that. That's alright. We've had a good run. <laughs> Mother! I hate Tetris. Since we last recorded, Tyson's swearing has gotten a lot worse. He'll watch this video and then change for the better. Not really. Fuck! Dude, we do Ooh! Two fish! Shut up! 
Two fish. Round five. What? Tuna salad. How are we in round five? I don't know. I'm so confused. Don't worry about See, it. See, this is what happens when you get into a Tetris series halfway in. Yeah, like round one and two were like the first expansion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna write, as soon as we're done, I'm gonna write a Tetris fanfic called Tetris Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a link on the channel. You have never put a link on anything. I don't think you really know how. I put a link on the Donkey Kong one. Or whatever. I saw you experimenting with them. I saw you change a video so that the description had a left bracket, a harass, and then a link to something. I saw you do this. <laughs> I'm still on web 1.0. <laughs> You're on web app, creative alpha. One of my like favorite things is like the finding old websites, like going on like old GeoCities and shit like that. Like GeoCities is a shut down though. I know, but there's lots of them that have been like preserved. People take like the exact same site and they move it somewhere else and the sites like survive. I found one, there's one linked on something awful the other day. So they kind of have I assume that websites like that stayed alive because they like forgot about them and just kept paying them. How do you take it with you? How do you intentionally preserve this? Baba Booey! You heard it here first, folks. I don't know, I think lots of people, like, they're just like, oh. Like, once you've, like, created something, you just want to hang on to it regardless of how shitty it is. That's never how I feel. I want to get rid of things and create something. I feel... Like, I kind of get it, but it's unintuitive, like, which things fall and which things don't after, like, something goes off. The things that, like, started off blocked together, like, stay blocked together. Right. Unless there was, like, a diagonal space between them. Yeah. I don't know. The things I expect to happen don't always seem to happen. Also, the next block thing is confusing in multiplayer. Yeah. I look at the next block, I'm like, oh, I gotta deal with that next. And then you get that block because you go faster than me. Block. I'm just a block putting cool. That's all I know. I'm just a lonely L block. <laughs> ah, see, I was not expecting that one. Dude, I don't even look at next block. See, I was just kind of like off in my corner of my eye. I'm like, oh, that's next. It's not next. Well, it would be if you were so goddamn slow. <laughs> slow and steady wins the race. This is Tetris 2. There's no room for slow and steady. Tyson runs ahead and gets cocky and then takes a nap. Oh, baby, thinks it's true. I thought it was that slow. I don't know. It's a widely discussed strategy on the Tetris 2 B bulletin, so. <laughs> Fuck! Still on round five. I'll be interested whether round five is the same next. Round. I think. Uh, I think round five is how many blocks we started with. Actually, we started with a lot more than five. Yeah, we started with like five rows. That was like an option we selected in the menu. Oh. But then, in what sense is it around? I don't know. Don't question the logic of Tetris Two. Tetris Two has been around long enough that I think we can start to criticize things about it. Things that have not held off as well over time. Why is it going? Oh, that's... Is that how it does garbage? It just sends blocks at you faster. Yeah. They fall down faster. I like how when you get one that's like just four in a row, it's basically just a ball. Ow. 
Grazie. Who gets to fish this time, punk? <laughs> Rest. 14. That's how many if you win, like, this, the pro way. That's what you have left. Oh, if you actually, like, destroy the blocks. Yeah. If you actually cure the patient, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Only the patient could cure. Sounds like something Jesus would say. Yeah. Maybe. If he spoke English, he'd have like bad word play. Okay, this time I'm going for a good win. Yeah, me too. I think I'm pro enough. I think you can handle my styles. joke I've ever made. Write it down. <laughs> Pretty good. Put that on a t-shirt. That'll be the first yeah, Let's Play Gamers t-shirt. Buy the t-shirt. Buy the A-game t-shirt. I want to get t-shirts like I actually need. Maybe yeah. that's what we should do for Eric's birthday. Yeah. I think that's a pretty terrible birthday. Again. Don't really think you do that for Eric's birthday. No. <laughs> Deserves it. <laughs> I got it! This is the winning block right here. Yeah. Ba boom! Damn, are we on round six now? No. Oh, did you see that? Oh. One player, you only have like two shocks Cheerios left. Well, that was Tetris for two. That was an exciting episode of Tetris Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> see you next time! <laughs>